So on this problem, ladies and gentlemen, I could use the box method. But for this one, since I do a lot with the box method, I'm just going to do the FOIL method. All right? I remember when multiplying binomials, we have to make sure that we follow along with the FOIL process. So the FOIL process says first, outer, inner, last. So the first means the first two terms in your binomials. It's called the first. So we have 2 times 3, which equals 6. Then we do the outer, right? which is going to be 2 times negative square root of 5. I don't really want to write that. I'll keep it in there. Then we do the inner, right? which is going to be, uh, let's do that on the bottom, inner, which is going to be the square root of 5 times 3. So this ends up equaling, I'm sorry, negative 2 square root of 5. This ends up equaling 3 square root of 5. And then we do the last. And you can just see I kind of create a nice little foil face, kind of little eyes and ears and mouth and circle tongue. So therefore, the last is going to be the square root of 5 times the square root of 5, which equals the square root of 5 squared, which equals 5. Then we write out our answer, 6 minus 2 square root of 5 plus 3 square root of 5 plus 5. Well, these two terms, since they both have the square root of 5, we can combine them to negative or to positive square root of 5. And then 6 plus 5 is 11. Oh, this is a negative. Thank you. That was a negative 5, right? Thank you very much. So that's a negative 5. So 6 minus 5 is 1 plus square root of 5. That's it. You could also do it a couple other different ways, but that is just the FOIL method. Uh.